Colonel Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History. And today we are in the San Elizario Jail. Now, some of you may not have heard about this before, but if you're a fan of Billy the Kid, uh, this is definitely a must see. See, uh, San Elizario Jail, this was the first jail in El Paso County. Because keep in mind, El Paso years ago was known as Franklin. Um, but uh, this jail, and you can see from uh, its surroundings, it's uh, pretty meager. These are solid iron, uh, and yes, the latrines are just holes in the floor. The museum staff later added the bed. Um, but the significance of this jail is that this was a jail that Billy the Kid broke into instead of out of. He was known for breaking out of jails. Um, but this one, uh, in San Elizario, we heard that one of his friends had been captured and put into jail. So Billy uh, went to the jail, and I believe it was at 3 o'clock in the morning, knocked on the door, and uh, told him that uh, he was a Texas Ranger, and you know, the local folks, local police went ahead and opened the door, thinking it was a uh, Texas Ranger respecting their authority, and they got greeted by a 44. And uh, Billy promptly uh, robbed the sheriff, didn't go ahead and shoot him. Uh, and then after freeing his friend, threw the keys on top of the jail. And if you could show the roof of the jail, uh, some of the original stuff, it's, as you see, it's the wooden post and uh, what's the Adobe, straw. Adobe and straw. So, um, and this is in the town of San Elizario. I'll do some more about San Elizario in a moment, but I wanted to show you this because I know some of you are Billy the Kid fans. You want to know, did he have any dealings in Texas? Yes, he did. Uh, and this is one of them. So until next time, this is Jeff Mura wishing you five con Dios, my friends. Goodbye.